From Laramie, Wyoming, it's Ice Bowl 2003. Today, it's the University of New Mexico Lobos against the University of Wyoming Cowboys. Still led by Rocky Long, a former Wyoming assistant coach who uh, really remembers his time here at the University of... Best of conditions, Mike. It's, just ter it's terrible to play out in that kind of condition, but you, uh, in those kind of conditions, but you have fun as a player, and, and once you get the game going, you start sweating, and, and you really don't notice it so much. Well, nine degrees at kickoff time. The wind... And take a look at that offensive line for New Mexico. A lot of the guys not wearing... The uh, undershirts, the sleeves, they're going to show how tough they are. Like Lensmeyer there, a, a Cook. A little mental posture. There you go. Fake, Kelly. Has a little bit of room. Down the far side, wide open for the touchdown is Dontrell Moore. And that, folks, is ad libbing football. That was awesome, Mike, just because... Casey, Casey decided he was going to run at one point. It looked like he decided he was going to run. And before he took off, he thought, I'd look downfield one more time. Saw a wide-open Dontrell. Watch him look back across the field after he just, like, up. Oh, I think I'm going to run. And then, uh, wait, there's Dontrell. Good throw, too, because he had to throw across his body. Got the ball to Dontrell. Robbins in motion. Another delay handoff. And... This time, Derek Armaugh is hit behind the line of scrimmage. Zach Rupp is there and quietly is having a terrific senior season. Uh, the young man from uh, Pleasant Grove, Utah. Zach Rupp has really come on. And, and you know, he picked up some weight uh, as opposed to what he weighed last season. And looks like he picked up some strength with that because he has been a force all season. Field. Four wide receivers. Lovell's coming with the blitz. Bramlett going down. D.J. Renteria, and he forced the fumble, and New Mexico comes up with it. Every time there's a fumble, D.J. Renteria is around. Renteria forces it, and Sidney Wiley pounces on it. So New Mexico back in business with the ball, and we'll see what they can do as we head to this commercial break. The Lobos trying to add to their 7-3 lead. Bramlett under center. Steps up. Shuffles around DJ Renneria downfield. And is it picked off? It looks like it is. And that is Brandon Ratcliffe with the interception. So, on successive plays, Bramlett fumbles, New Mexico recovers, and then he throws an interception. You know Pressure again, and down goes the quarterback, Bramlett, again. The sack that time. From number 89, Nick Spiegel, his second sack of the year. Nick, you could see Nick Spiegel's speed on that play right there, Mike. He came through, and it doesn't even look like he was blocked. I do, I do believe that's a safety, isn't it? No, they're going it's to too, punt it out of there. It's too hard to tell. It is hard. Nick Spiegel coming through unblocked, and, and Bramley lost that ball for a second. Yeah, I think he would staff 10-3 New Mexico. Do you play it close to the best here? I think you play a real conservative here. Just don't make any turnovers. Good move by Dontrell Moore. This could change New Mexico's thinking. And the clock continues to move. Now they'll stop it to move the situations. Wide open is the fullback. And getting into the end zone for a six is Adrian Bird. And, 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 and make some of the guys cheat up. And, and look how open Bird was. Just his third catch of the season. Sacks, so are added to negative yardage. Quick pitch, and Ryan McGuffey, it's, boy, that went nowhere in a hurry thanks to Gabriel Fulbright. Fulbright has just really excelled at the cornerback position. I mean, since since he's moved over there, he's, he's just blossomed so much. Make that a second down play. Pressure up the middle, and Bramlett just gets rid of it. A host of Lobos there, Kegler and Spiegel and Bramlett. He's going to be so glad that he won't have to face New Mexico again in his career. They've always, they, they. You know, this is what the fifth sack today. Well, technically it wasn't a sack. And now they're calling an intentional grounding. I figured they would because I didn't see a receiver in the vicinity. That is a spot foul and loss of down. The result of the play, safety. So he got rid of the ball from the end zone which, if you call it an uh, intentional grounding, that is a safety. Gone the distance now. 
Dee Dee Cox filling in and filling in admirably for Dontrell Moore. He says, there's got to be another hole here somewhere. How about that run? And finally, Tyler Gottschalk brought him down from behind. And a lot of stutter steps and zigzagging from Dee Dee. And watch, watch the running on this play. Watch, watch the short steps, Mike, how, how well he keeps his balance on the slippery surface. Now, you can see where he was using his arms to help him out, too, using his one arm. Of course, better tuck that football a little bit better. Down point for Didi. He didn't get in. Maybe he will here. And he walks in for the touchdown. Didi Cox from one yard out. So Didi Cox doing yeoman's work for New Mexico is a real. Casey Bramlett, and he's going to go down again and again. It's Billy Struther, his fifth sack of the season. Billy Struthers having a, a great season. Turned about getting a little sleep as we watched the replay. Billy Struthers wrapping Bramlett up. Really nowhere for Bramlett to go. He wasn't going to break that tackle at all. Billy Ra Very excited football team. Winning it today, and Joe Glenn will come on out as the Lobo players making snowmen on the field. <laughs> Well, there's one of the big horses for the University of New Mexico helping the, helping the Lobos win today. It was Terrence Pennington, and, and New Mexico battles the elements and the Wyoming Cowboys to post a 26-3 victory in cold and snowy Laramie this afternoon. And New Mexico now improves to 8-4 overall, 5-2 in the Mountain West.